quick adjustment. How y'all doing, everybody? Welcome back. It is I, Pekka Robin, again. Ah. Welcome back to some more NG. That is loud. The last time we left off... <laughs> uh, excuse me. Last time we left off, we had an encounter with... What's his name? With the... Uh, the, the I can't forget his name. Could be Tower of Kentucky. Here we go. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. Does <laughs> it's like I always have to say that. Anyways, we're back. I made it to the bar a little earlier than, than set time. I'm not amazing here today. What should I do now? What's happening? I don't know where the wall shifts and I'm dizzy, nearly collapsing onto the floor. This sensation. Oh, it's happening again. Okay, okay, so so we are definitely gonna fight Kobe Tower now. At least where it comes from somewhere. It's time for a tail. Kobe Tower carries an axe on one shoulder. Time to make offerings to the great Kentucky. Bow wow wow a dog's head. It's here. Kakuya's curse. The time limit warning of my death. Death's footsteps are near. Damn it. Waves of, an, of anxiety morph into buckets of sweat, coating my face. I gotta take care of this by tonight. Good morning, Kalu. Or Hazuki. You're here early, Kijima. Hmm. Your face is covered in sweat. Something wrong? It's nothing. And could it be that. Is it the curse? Did it come? Does she know? How can you tell? I just had a feeling. Maybe a guarding angel whispered in my ear. She must have gone off how I'm acting. As usual, her ghost intuition is spot on. Hmm. Alright, I'll do something about it. Do what? Just leave it to me. She moves on she moves to a table and dumps the contents of her bag on it. Out comes a wallet, makeup pouch, a silver wig, and for some reason a bottle of sumi ink, a brush, and an ink stroke. I'll start off with this. Which is for, for a silver wig. Here it goes. <laughs> is the transformation really necessary? Atmosphere is important. A shiny gold Buddha statue feels like it would offer more luck than a wooden one, does it not? You got the music playing and I love it. Smoothing out her silver hair, Hazuki's dress and Momo Kuda say smiles. Now for the preparations. Hazuki pours some ink out of the ink zone. Ink zone. Just what are you gonna do? I take great pride in the fact that I memorized all 266 letters of the Great Sertra. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Alright, Kijima. Please take off your clothes. Hey, yo, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Surely you're familiar with the story of Hoichi of the Earless. To escape evil ghosts, he wrote the Heart Sutra over his entire body. However, he forgot to write it on his ears, so the evil ghost took him. Wait, are you planning to write Buddhist prayers? There's nothing to be afraid. I will not make a blunder like like that in the story. I shall write the Great Sutra from the bottom of your feet to the back of your ears. Oh God. It is certain to chase away all spirits and curses that I wish to bring harm to you, Kijima. No way. Believe in Momo. Those who believe are given salvation. What are you, a goddess now? Quickly now, take off your clothes. Fine. By your expression, it seems you realize the circumstances you're in. That honestly is truly a virtue. I shrug my hoodie off and toss it aside as I'm going for my shirt. <laughs> I'm a number just walks in, like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Eyes wide, Amanomi stares at me with my shirt half off in front of Hazuki. Did I interrupt? <laughs> Hold on, it's not what you think. I quickly explain everything to him. Well, that's ridiculous. It's sort of stupid. I can only sigh. Aww. I'm pretty sure it'd work. I really wanted to write the Heart Sutra. 
Hazuki's madness aside, the curse activated. That's not good. I'm sure that he'll be fine. After all, he escaped his death with the Orashima woman. True. We can only hope you're right. Well, we'll just have to put an end to this tonight, no matter what. Pretty much. That might be tough. Why is that? I've stopped in Kentucky to see how things are, but security has gone up since last night. Why, though? Someone reported they saw a large man carrying an axe. So everyone's on high alert. A police car is in position on every street. It's like they're afraid of something. Alan Ame, don't you have an acquaintance in the police force? Isn't there anything you can do? Of course, I already tried, but there's a toe in the line, in the line hard ahead in charge. Uh, no way I can get one over him. I'll have something I can work with with, with a few days, I'm sure, but my hands are tied short term. Damn it. Hmm. What shall we do? Uh, it'd at least be in interesting if Kobitaro's appeared in, front, in the middle of everything. Oh, that'd be a riot. I'd love to see cops flip off. Any kind of disturbance would give us an opening. Hmm. A disturbance. Create a big ruckus in town, and then maybe... Well, got something in mind? Maybe one thing. I already told them to stay out of this, so I'm reluctant to use them, but... Excuse me while I make a call. I feel like... I feel like... I, I, I feel like I know who, who he's gonna call. I'm gonna make exit the bar. I'm sure he's talking about Maru. Indeed. I'm eager to find what he's planning. I feel rather excited. It's never anything up on the on the up and up when he goes to the effort of stepping away. But at this point, that's all I have to depend on. It's not long before Amonama returns. Hey, sorry about that. I forgot to ask Maruhashi to stop by the office and take the dog out for a walk. Oh no. That's a blatant lie, but by the look on his face, things must have gone well. I just realized I haven't eaten dinner yet. Let's find a place by the station to eat my treat. Oh, eat my treat. That's out of nowhere. Is it? I'm sure you're hungry too. I mean, right now I kinda am. <laughs> you seem up for it. As expected, you have the nerves of steel, Akira. Luck comes to those who wait. Who knows, things might turn out in our favor while we pass the time eating. Come on. It's the first time the three of us get to eat together. When did you take off your clothing? Not clothing, the wig. Hazuki, Hazuki seems up for it. She's already demumbled herself and it looks like she's ready to head out. I know a good place. It's got a rumor that an employee who died from overworking turned into a ghost. I've already had enough of that served to me, so I'll pass. Besides, I'm sure we'll taste enough of that sort tonight. Enough to cause gas. Three of us end up eating at a pricey sushi restaurant. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm way out of my element while the other two order like they got places like this every day. Our difference in status smacks me in the face. Damn. These two live in like the high life and men's out here broke. Eating ramen. Like, like a broke college student. We finish eating and make our way to the roundabout in front of the station. Is it just me, or is it noisy over at the police station? The building's packed with cops. Things took things look a, a little hectic. I don't even have to strain to hear an angry voice carrying all the way over to us. Why is there a biker gang running amok in Kentucky? <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about any gathering. It seems it was decided to spur of the moment. Apparently, the founding leader of the Red Crest called them together. Ah, <sighs> guess that mohawk bastard hasn't lost his pull over him. How are we responding to it? The guys in charge of Kentucky are on it. Huh? But why? Isn't it? Isn't the the traffic division the jurisdiction? Well, sir, uh, those seem to be orders that have come down. The guys uh, at the scene are, re are reluctant, but it appears they were forced to do it. Sounds like a Becker gang infiltrated Kentucky and is raising hell. Seems the higher ups are making the cops over there go after him. The funny leader with the mohawk. They can't possibly be talking about. Wait, wait, yep. Yeah, hold up. I can't. Come on. I know I could do it. Come on. I can't. I can't do it. Coincidence? How scary? I'll leave it at that. But it's the perfect chance for us. 
Yeah, I know. Let's get moving to Kentucky Tower. If Kobe Tato is going to show her face anywhere again, it's gonna, it'll be around that old well. It's dangerous as hell, but I have to go survive. But I have to go to survive. Hmm? What's happened, though? Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the finale of the tale. Oh, that's not good. We're under the Kentucky Setters. Head there with your wish. Looks like I don't have a lot of time. Oi, you okay? More or less? Let's hurry. Amanome or Hazuki? Who has to go on the investigation? I mean, Amanome has already seen shit, so I'll take him with him. Okay? Let's go. Be careful. Oh, you know what? We might find new things at places we've already investigated. Let's check them again as we go. Cool beans. Before I do that, let me... Wrong button. Let me actually save here. Just in case, if I, like, fuck up anything. Uh, PS4 saving is a lot slower. For some reason. Yes, yes, it's saved. Thank you. There we go. Alright, cool beans. Let's go. About to investigate everything. Show on the little shrine. I think there's uh, other manjo offerings. Okay. Smithing machine. Nothing left to be sold out. One thing I need to restock. Where's the poster? People come. Celebration 69th. Easy, Yuri. Big sale, huh? Okay. Looks like everything is roughly the same. Got the trash. Nothing in there. Okay. Bag of pillars covered in graffiti. This color section. Okay. Nothing here at all. Hmm? What's wrong, Akira? You looked, you looked up so suddenly. Nothing, just thought I heard the sky rumbling. Hmm. Not to mention I hear it too. But it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. Yeah. That reminds me, I heard something bizarre. Supposedly the town had more lightning strikes after the Kentucky Setters were gone. Oh, that's not good. It's probably just a coincidence. So what's with this bear? There are flowers from crossing. I'll pass away here though. There's another offering. That plush it wasn't there yesterday, was it? It was not. It's true, it's a new plush you offered near the crossing. I feel like this thing is not gonna keep its head for long in a place like this. Yeah, it'll be the end of it if Kubitaro finds it. No time to waste on a plushie. Let's go. Go and get a scratch and rub against it. Just making sure I got everything. Trees, nothing. I'm gonna do that again. Nothing here. Okay, okay. They, oh god. Something's flipped over. Ah, it's a car. <laughs> That'd be a cop car. I see that. But why is it upside down? I bet the car and the, ta and the tagging were both done by the motorcycle gang. You tell me that Marahashi flipped over a whole car? I told him to try the cops, but I didn't expect this much. Maybe I'll tip extras. Thanks for showing me something fun. Somehow I knew you were behind this. A phone rings from someone's pocket. Isn't that your phone? Huh? Oh, it's me. Is it? Yeah. Hello? Oh, it's, oh, it's Kijima. Yo, how you doing? Maruhashi? Can't say I expect that you hear from him. How do you get my number? Why are you calling me? Well, uh, there's a reason why I can't call Mrs. Seiji. Why is that? Anyway, here's my report. I've already broken up the gathering I requested. Man, I haven't hit that speed in forever. Took me back to when I was still a leader. <laughs> you guys did this on you guys did this to the cop car? Yep. Pretty great, isn't it? Wait, whoa, you already that far? Actually I'm I'm also in Kentucky. I didn't tell Mrs. Eiji. So that's why he called me. Uh yeah. Uh, would you mind smoothing things out with him? I'll think about it. So where are you now? I'm near Kentucky Tower. You guys are headed this way, right? 
I heard from Mr. Sage that you were able to open that well. Man, I'm dying to see. I've been curious about that since, since that was a pipsqueak. Alright, watch yourself. We got into something dangerous there yesterday. I know, I won't try anything. I'll just wait around and eat some lawn juice. Alright, later. Madahashi hangs up. Seems Madahashi is waiting for us at Kentucky Tower. That idiot never follows instructions. <laughs> That's where Kobitaro appeared yesterday. We better get a move on her if we're gonna meet up. Don't wanna keep him waiting too long there. Let's hurry. But before we do. This huge letter is not artistic best at all. Graffiti that only seems to be focused on getting attention. Damn. Damn, he, he, he pretty much name dropped all graffiti around town. Uh, scratches, same thing. Nothing different. I mean, I can, I can look at these skid marks. Tire marks. Looks like they run through here with a lot of people. Damn. Anything in the trash? Huh. <sighs> no lid. Nothing interesting. Okay. What about the cop car? Nothing, anything in there? Looks like uh, something big went down. Yeah, it looks like it looks like there's something in here. Oh, here we are. Not yet, but we're almost there. Is there anything in here? Nothing stands out. Don't need to check it. That's the address. Over here. Open the lid. The bottom is a plastic bag filled with empty glass bottles. Nothing looks useful in here. Okay. If 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 there is nothing useful in the trash can, everything else here is useless. No 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 need to check it out. The area around Kentucky Tower is completely silent, like usual. He said he'd be waiting here, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be. But where is he? A quick glance around doesn't show Marohashi anywhere. We better look for him. Mm, I mean. I'm trying to light the metal wires. I can see parts have been snipped. Or just messing around with them as a prank. It's a prank, bro. Small little shrine. Everything looks the same like yesterday. Where the hell is Madohashi? I can think of one spot where he is. Getting away. He could be in there. All the has been closed with a concrete lid. The paper bag that held the Kentucky Manju on the other is on the other side of the well. Oh, this wasn't here yesterday. Oh, you know, Madahashi was saying he'd eat this manju while he was waiting for us. They throw us away. If this is here, that idiot must have opened the well. He might have. I, I told the fool to be careful, but exactly the type they gave given up on waiting and just opened it. Should we open it ourselves? Yeah. We're gonna check inside. What went down yesterday crosses my mind. The well definitely holds some kind of significance of Kubitaro. Who knows what will happen if I open the lid. I push a crunky lid to the side. When I look in... Looks exactly the same as last night. The heads Kubitaro gathered for her attempt to bring her little brother back are all here. No. There's there's one more. It's that dock pouch I gave up before. Guess could be thought of retrieved it. I thought there was a chance my Hash had been an ass and hiding here as a prank, but guess he has some guess he has some restraint. So what now? Hmm. When Kubitaro appeared yesterday, I hadn't had time to do more than look inside the well. I hope to check it out thoroughly just in case. I shot my hands to the wall and pushed the heads to the side. You're saying you're gonna touch those? There's severed dog head mix in there. Shut up, my life's on the line. <laughs> I died through a corpse the other day, no point in getting disgusted now. Uh. I opened the rabbit bag. What's this? Huh. There's a worn plushie inside. Found in a well with an over, overabundance of heads. Ironically, this doesn't have a head of its own. Okay. Don't think I'm gonna get anything else in this well. I'm more concerned about the music right now. That aside, where the hell's Maruhashi? Oh yeah, Akira. Uh, can your phone call back a number from your call history? 
Um, sure. Gonna, gonna listen for the for the ringtone. I'll try calling him Hush's number. If he's close, maybe we can locate him from the sound of his phone. You can do this yourself. Why make why make me do it? I don't want to hear that guy's annoying voice close to my ear. Come on, aren't you worried about him? You do the honors, best friend. Ah, <sighs> fine. Beep. Punch the call button. Sounds like he's close. Where's it coming from, though? Seems like the other side of the transmission tower. Why is it not answering? Over there, huh? Hmm? The screams from the mouth pierce my brain. The tail has reached happily ever after. Oh no. Don't look inside, don't look inside, don't look inside. Inside of the well has been has been looked, has been looked the well has been looked inside. That's not good. What's up? It's nothing. I s I school my f I school? I school my face as blank as possible. No point telling the truth. I'm on the way we're just worry. This is bad. Gotta hurry. Gotta gotta go right over here. Motohash's ringtone sounds like it coming from behind the transmission tower. <sighs> we gotta go. Following the fence, Texas is rounded. A familiar silhouette looks to be taking a break. Lugging that belly around must be tiring. Oh. That's not good. What the hell are you doing in a place like this? Hey, Motohashi, hurry and get your ass up. Motohashi doesn't budge. If the guy falls asleep, do you guys not notice his blood stain right there? I got balls ignoring me, idiot. Damn it, come on, move it, and take off that stupid mask. I grab at the mask, and it slips off easily, falling to the ground. Oh no. Almost too easily. I feel like only air was inside. In fact... What? There's nothing inside the mask. Huh? It feels like I've been shot through the heart. It's completely gone. Where Matahashi's head should be, it, it's empty. Instead, this base is filled with plastic toys. I want to make crumples to the ground at Matahashi's feet. That bastard. Could be Taro. Sh she did this to Matahashi. It's like the dog. He grips at his, at his hair with both fists, nearly pulling out the strands. Seeing Amonomi's anguish, finally snaps it back to reality. Madahashi had been alive during that phone call. It's only been a few moments since he died. Which means... Carried on the evening breeze, I can hear that damn children's song. Kubitaro is coming. If Kubitaro finds out we've been searching the well, she might go berserk. That could be why Marahashi. It's dangerous to stay here. We better move to Nalik somewhere for now. Stay, stay strapped, Amanome. Stay strapped. I can hear Kubitaro's voice right behind me. Don't look. She hasn't noticed us yet. What should we do? On our way back to the station? No. If Kubitaro has discovered what we did to the well, she'll be pissed and chase after us. Either way, my time limit's almost up. Gotta prepare for the worst and confront her. Let me screenshot this real quick. Uh, well, I'm recording it, so that's fine. <laughs> prepare for the worst and confront her. Then what's the best spot to face her? Well, a place that works for her advantage. Where would that be? The tower yesterday, Kubitaro in my apartment. Where everything that's happened. So, what, what, what doesn't she like? We need to face her ad. There was a bunch of light, so. The railer might work. Because when she was in our apartment, though, we, we had her leave with, with the light. The train has a lot of light. I mean, we survived, I guess. Let's go back to the railroad crossing. 
We quietly rushed on the streets and reached the crossing. Kobe thought it seemed to recoil from light. A lot of cars passed by here. Maybe we can use that. Hey, I was right. Let's go first try. I hear Kobe Taro's voice in the distance. Like we thought, she chased us here. But I guess she somehow lost sight of us as she's just standing along the path of ways. Seems we bought ourselves in time. Hey, it's just me or something feel off about this place. I look around and it takes me a minute, but I notice something odd. All the street lamps around us all the street lamps around us are dark. Oh yeah, does the flash turn on? I quickly pull out the flashlight and turn the switch on a few times. Ah, what the hell? Is this Kobe Taro's doing? My last resort was to use the light from this thing, but it looks like that's out. There aren't any cars around here either. Damn it, am I out of options? Suddenly, the railroad crossing barrier lowers, and the warning lights have been flashing. Wait, what? The crossing lights still work? Realization, realization bubbles up from my gut. That means that over that over here. Oi, can you lure Kobe Taro this way somehow? It's out of nowhere with no prep. Yelling is an option, but the warning sign is real loud. Wait, I forgot about this. I got the gun. Firing it should. Anything I'll do at this point. Do it. Let's liven things up, shall we? I'm gonna take takes out the gun, points to the sky, and pulls the trigger. That uh, those have to be the weakest gunshot sounds I've ever heard, but it worked. Yeah, she noticed. Kobitaro has been far away, but now she's gone. She, sh she should show up again somewhere nearby. What I've gathered, whenever she disappears, she uses darkness to, re to reappear elsewhere. I'm waiting for the. Uh, there you are. I see her. She's moving closer. Give him back. At this point, does it even matter if I do or not? I could keep running, but she chased me to the ends of the earth. My gut's telling me I can figure out a way out of this right now. Right here, right now. What was Kubutaro's little brother? And what did she wish for the great Kendoka so many times? For her cherished little brother, Kubutaro will stop at nothing. That's why I might be able to end here at the spot. Focus. Think, damn it. Hmm. Escape scene one. Alright. So let me look at my notes. Taro. Charge brother wants to bring back Bear Plushy. Hmm. Bear Plushy wants to bring back. Hmm. Just skimming through my notes. I, I have to censor that. <laughs> God damn it. So, hold up. Uh, where are my items? Not that. Hold up. Not that either. Do it. Can I look at the items I have? This rival scheme after all. What can I do with this? There's an outfit and a plushy place on it. Tools. Oh, here we go. Flashlight, utility knife. I'm gonna cut the paper. Nothing's pretty easily. Packing tape. I was supposed to find the bomb of the well. It's got a very strong ammo scent to it. Based on its pot, it's be a teddy bear. Mm. If she wants her brother back, yet yeah, this thing doesn't have a head, what if we gave it a head? Uh, packing tape. Have this plushy. Wait, what if I take? Is it possible? Offering though. What if I? What if I take off the head of, of this plushy though, with the knife? 
take a look. It, it's a bear plushie. What exactly is your plan with that utility knife? The little brother Kobe Taro cherishes so much is probably the headless plushie. What did the original look like before it lost its head? Ah, I gotcha. Use his bear head to grant Kobe Taro's wish. I stab the knife into the bear head and rip it off the neck. Leave it to me. My hands have always been extremely dexterous. Dexterous? With careful use of the packaging tape, Amano may attach the bear head to the plushie's neck. There. What do you think? Perfect, yeah? That that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I said the head where attached to the plushie had always been there. It is ass. Oh yeah, that looks great. Prepared plushie, okay. But I think I took too long on it. Looking where I'm on my points, their expression disordered in surprise. You are much closer now. Kubitaro already stands on the other side of the crossing. What should I do now? There's no room for failure. I have to end it here. We are prepared for it. Look death in the eye and trust my gut. Last scene, okay. Hmm. I think I think I think what we have to do now is just I guess give it to her because that's her wish. So, Kobe Taro is definitely close. If I'm gonna do something to her, now it's my chance. Fuck it. The little brother Kobe Taro cherished must have looked like this repaired plushie. Then if I give this back to her. And now, I suck in a deep breath and yell. Kubitaro, here's your little brother back. I throw the pair of plushie onto the tracks and it falls near her feet. She picks up the plushie and stares at it intently. Kubitaro mutters quietly before she looks at me. I swear I see a gentle smile. She squeezes the plushie close and giggles as she fades away. Okay. That is bright as shit. Let's go. What the fuck? <sighs> we we did it. <laughs> we did it. The whispering of voices are gone. I'll be able to live for another night anyway. So, I managed to do it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Kijima, Hauski, why are you here? Hauski? I'm so glad you're okay. Her shoulders are heaving are heaving with heavy with every breath. She must have run all out. Why are you here? I came to warn you. I heard people in the police station uh, saying the officers who were at the motorcycle gang are coming back to Kentucky soon. But wait, you ran all, all the way here for that? Why don't you just call? Well, you didn't answer. Fair enough. Oh, I took my phone in. Yep, several missed calls from Hazuki. Sorry, it, it was unavoidable. We were dealing with Kubitaro until just a few moments ago. Huh? It's Kubitaro? We cash up to her and everything that's happened. Me yeeting the, the, the little plushie. And about Maruhashi's death. No. She seems at a loss for words. It was too much of a shock. After a few moments, she sadly looks down. After everything. I never did an, an, uh, end up telling him that I was Momokuro say. This was how it was going to end. I should have told him earlier. I bet that would have made him happy. That, that's kind of sad. Damn. <sighs> it's not a stranger who died, but someone we know. That fact crushes us under its weight. What's that over there? Looks like it looks like a hat. 
When I studied the place over by the crossing where Kobit where Kobitaro disappeared, a large pool of blood remains. The murky surface reflects the streetlights faintly. Inside of it is a dirty, reversible red and white cap. There's a white on it. I saw a vision of Ami with the blood left behind by the, left behind by the Orashima woman. Does it have to try? Just don't get one over. Make him one way closer to the pool of blood. I cautiously reach out and touch it. Time again. Hmm. Ami sitting in the dark place. It is just like last time. I can't tell anything from this. More. I need more. Show me more! I drop my focus down to a needle point and concentrate. It's like a fog lifting, and suddenly the shrines are clear. A floor with gray tiles. A wall, a shower hose, and nozzle. Is this the bathroom? Kakuya. Even Ami's voice is clear this time. Did you kidnap me so you could play with my big brother? Why does it have to be him? Kakuya, tell me. What's NG? This is so weird. I saw where Ami was. But why is she in the bathroom? Is it, is it a statement or a question? <laughs> she disappeared from mine, but hmm, is it related? The fuck? The fuck? What's wrong, Kijima? You're looking all over the place. What do you mean? Can't you hear the flute? The flute? I don't hear anything like that. Am I the one who hears it? Oh. Kakuya is only talking to you. Her voice echoes in my head. Kakuya thought of a fun game. Seiji or Kaoru, which one's more important? W what are you implying here? Kakuya wants to know. What do you mean by that? Answer me! Jeez, uh, what's with the yelling all of, all of a sudden? What's wrong? What's the sound? Is that rumble from... <gasps> Wait, the lightning strikes! There's no sign of rain. Strange weather. I, sh I shudder as a chill runs down my spine. I have a really bad feeling. So do I, Kijima. Move. Move right now. Hmm? What's wrong, Akira? Run! Hurry! Instincts make my feet start running. A deafening sound splits the sky, and all I can hear see is white. What the hell just happened? I lay flat on the ground. With shaky arms, I get up and look to the side of the crossing. What the fuck? Oh my god, a tree- The trees by the, by the road shattered into thousands of pieces. Some of the branches have caught fire, and the st smoke makes me cough. That roar followed by a flash earlier. Was that a lightning strike? Spoil that all out on the ground in front of me, or I'm gonna man Hazuki. Fatal choice! Amaname, how's it going? You okay? No reply. At least I can tell the chests are moving. Looks like they're, they're just knocked out. Who do I rush to first? <laughs> Kakuya thought of a fun game. Seiji or Kaoru, which one's more important? Kakuya wants to know. Hmm. Your decision here is crucial. Your, the partner chosen will never accompany you accompany you again? Choose wisely? I choose. Oh my god. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Hmm. Who is more important? 
Oh, uh, this, uh, this this is this is tough, dude. This is the equivalent of of choosing over your best friend or, or your girlfriend. Holy shit! A Manome, son of the Yakuza. He has insider info. He, he he's a Yakuza kid. He has connections. Hazuki, she is a model, but she is a love interest of the game. I have no idea. Ah. Uh, Will never accompany accompany you again. I have no idea what to pick. Oh, this is tough. Oh fuck. You, you know what? If if I'm gonna crippled, it's fine because he, he might be in the hospital, but he might still be able to help us. I'm picking Hoski. Fuck this. I got her body as soon as I reach her and shake her head, shake her heart. Snap out of it, Hoski. I need you alive. I promise I wouldn't. I promise I wouldn't let you die. Okay, okay, Kijima. I, I hear you. Don't shake me so much. You're you're all right. Not exactly. My leg really hurts. I don't think I could walk. Oh, what about Amanome? R right. I'll, I'll check. Oi, Amanome. Wake your ass up. I check him over and over. But he's unconscious. Shit. Kijima, can I ask you a favor? What's up? You, you want an ambulance? No, I I'll take care of that myself. After you leave. What do you mean? But that. What I want to ask of you is what Amanoma's got on his waist. The gun? You mean the gun? Yeah. If they find that at the hospital, Amanoma will be arrested. They should hold on to it for him, Kijima. I'm sure he'll forgive you for taking it. You're two of our best friends after all. Right. Sorry for making you do something dangerous. I collect the modified gun from Amanome. Only Amanome knows how to use it. And I'm breaking so many laws if anyone learns I'm holding it. Better hide it as soon as I get home. You can always teach yourself how to use it. <sighs> it's a relief. Alright, get going, Kijima. If the police come and find the gun on you, you'll end up arrested yourself. What about Amanome? Don't worry, I'll explain everything. I can leave it to you? Of course, trust me. I may be an idol, but I'm also an actress. This would be the perfect time to show my skill. I'll call you later. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the rest of you, Hazuki. See you later, Akira. Cop sirens dodge my steps as I run full speed to my apartment. My own breathing is loud. In the deep silence, you can only find the night. It feels like forever, but I finally reached my door. I'm strangely out of breath. Maybe it's because I've been I've been on the edge since the fight with Kowitaro. Kowitaro. I'm on me. Hazuki. I'm worried about them, but I'm sure Hazuki is managing somehow. I just have to have faith. I get home, I try calling um, no, man Hazuki. No answer. Must not be a good time. What do you mean, must not be a good time? Something happened. I try calling him, calling again tomorrow. With well, as an updated, oh my god. So it's a tough day. I'm trying to bring a little brother back to life. Maru Hashi opened the wall and the well was killed. Everybody gone about the lightning strikes, copy of Pierce and Lightning into this game. Jealousy. Huh. Guess we'll just go to sleep. Fuck it, we're going to bed. I I I deal with no bullshit. <laughs> Collapsing onto the bed, I shut my eyes. As I lay down, I close my eyes. I can't help thinking about Maruhashi. I hadn't known him for long, but the guy did have some good qualities. Nothing else. He had guts. Regrets can't be can can't help me undo anything. I'm not all powerful. The only thing I can do for him now is just put a hit out on his on this case. I don't get a wink of sleep that night. 
Game of death. Want to save? I do. But, I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching, though. We'll carry it. We'll continue this probably later. It's it's actually pretty early, though. Once again, though. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you uh, next time.